Hi everyone. Today we are going to talk about how to edit the automated bulletin for your regional. To do this, you will need the bulletin memos spreadsheet for your district, the Dropbox transfer folder for your district, and the bulletin procedures manual. Access to these three instruments will be sent to you as soon as your tournament is enrolled in our services. Right now, you're looking at the main document you'll be using, the spreadsheet. This is where most of the data will be entered. Today, we're going to be using the District 8 St. Louis Regional for our video. Before we start, please note that certain information will be put into the bulletin automatically without you doing anything. And these things are, one, the daily events that are listed in ACBL tracks, two, the event results from ACBL Live, three, photos of winners if we have them in our database, four, the weather, and five, an inspirational quote of the day, which you can change if you choose to. So now let's look at the spreadsheet. The first thing you want to do is to find the name of your tournament, scrolling down if necessary to find it. It's on the lines below this that you will actually enter the data that you want for the bulletin. Before we actually start entering some data, let's look up at rows two through seven. These are there just as examples for you to see how data should look when you put it in for each particular event. So in line two, you get to see what the speaker information should look like when it's entered. Three is hospitality, four is the life master, five is photo of the day, and six is the quote of the day if you choose to change it. In this video, we're gonna show you how to put in data for hospitality, a speaker, or new life master. So the first thing we're going to do is enter some hospitality information. The first thing you want to do in column A is to enter the date. For the purposes of this video, we're going to use 815 as the bulletin date for all of the data that we're entering. Then in column B, you want to put the time for the hospitality. If the hospitality event is going to run all day, you just leave this blank. If not, you type in your time frame. We're going to say 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. Please make sure you do not leave any spaces here between any of these digits. Next, under column C, which is where you will find the drop-down menu for all of the options for the data you want to enter, you click the drop-down menu, you choose the data that you're entering, and here it's hospitality. Now in column D, this is the title or the name of the hospitality that you want to show up in the bulletin. So for this event, we're going to say ice cream and cookies. And that's all you need to enter. If you want to put down a specific room, you can simply add that data there. A Google spreadsheet is a dynamic document, so you don't need to save anything. It is automatically saved every time you put data in here. Should you need to edit a cell, as in any other spreadsheet, you simply double click it, and that gives you the option to change any of the data that's in that cell. Now that we have our hospitality data entered, we're going to put in another entry, and this time we'll enter data for a speaker. Okay, and we're going to do Thursday, August 15th. If you don't want to retype it, you can simply copy and paste. Our speaker is going to speak from noon, 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. We're going to click on our drop-down menu and choose the item that we're entering, and that will be our speaker. And then we put in our speaker data. What we ask you to do for your speaker is to go up and look at line 2, column D. We ask that you would copy this cell and paste it. That way you can maintain the HTML coding that we have set for a speaker entry in the bulletin. You'll see a B slash B. This means please bold anything that's between those carrots. There's an I slash I, which means please italicize anything there. So we would like you to keep this and all you have to do is double click on the cell and you'll have the ability to change the data to whatever is correct for your bulletin. So our speaker is going to be myself, Kimberly Whipple. My topic is going to be the bulletin. And here's data for where the speaker presentation will be. You don't have to enter that. If you choose to, great. If not, you would just highlight it and then delete it. We're gonna leave it in just to see what it looks like. 
Then let's put the speaker's ACBL number in here. This will identify the speaker and it will also allow us to display the speaker's photo should we have it. And over here in column G, the miscellaneous column, this is where you want to put the bio of your speaker. A short bio is fine. If you don't have a bio for your speaker, you don't have to enter one, although it's nice for the players to see that. It's also nice to recognize your speaker and their achievements. Sometimes if it's a well-known speaker, we will have a bio if you do not, so you could always ask us. We're going to put in my bio, which is world worst speaker. Now we have our information for hospitality and for speaker. And the last thing that we're going to show you how to do in this particular video is to enter data for a life master. We ask that you trust the person who is telling you that they've made life master or a new level of life master since we really have no way of verifying it. You want to enter their data the day that they make life master or the day they tell you they make life master. It will then show up in the bulletin for two days so you don't need to re-enter that data. We're just going to copy and paste the date since we're using the same day. You don't need to enter a time since that is data you want to appear throughout the entire bulletin. We're going to pick Life Master. I get to be your lovely Life Master again, so we're going to put the name and ACBL number. You do want to put their ACBL number in there. This allows us to identify the master points and therefore the level of Life Master achieved. And it also allows us to display a photo of the player if we have one in our database. If you want to make sure that a photo gets displayed, you can take a photo of the player and then in another tutorial I will instruct you on how to upload that photo so that it can be presented in the bulletin. So now we have all of our data for a hospitality event, a speaker, and a life master. Now we want to see what this looks like. So we've done Thursday, so we're going to go up here and hold our cursor over the Thursday preview button. All of the preview buttons as you see for each day are highlighted in green. When you do that, the pop-up box will appear with a hot link. You want to go ahead and click on that link. When you do that, it will take 30, possibly 60 seconds to generate the bulletin with that information in it. So we're just going to wait for that to process. When it is done, it will show you a screen like this. Click on the link, click here for bulletin library. It will bring up a listing of the district regionals. You look for yours, which will most likely be the first or second one on the list. Go to the day for which you entered data, click on it, and then you can scroll down and see the events that you added. Here we have speaker, which is listed 12 to 1, listed in the day's events, and the hospitality event we entered, ice cream and cookies from 9 to 10 a.m. Here is the speaker information. The photo appears, the topic, the date and time, and the bio for your speaker. Also, your Life Master information shows up. Because we have a photo in our database, the photo shows. You can also see the level of Life Master appearing since we do have the ACBL number and can confirm that. And so all of the data that we have put in for this particular bulletin is appearing and it's appearing correctly. So now we're just going to switch quickly back to the spreadsheet. Again, please remember that you do not have to save anything on here. However, you can preview or save changed data because right now the bulletin that we just created has this data. Let's say we needed to change the hospitality. We can do that by going back on the bulletin, clicking the information and saying, no, we're doing hot dogs and french fries. We're not going to put in a location for this because we don't actually know it yet. So now we've changed the data. What we have to do now is go back and rerun that preview. When we do that, it will save the new data for processing when we do the bulletin. So again, we're going to highlight the Thursday preview. We're going to click on the hot link. We're going to wait for it to process. Click here, go to Thursday, and now our new data is in the bulletin. So the preview links for the spreadsheet will save data, it will refresh data, and it will preview the data for you. This is a lot of information in the first video. Please watch the second video to learn how to upload a story. Thanks. If you have any questions, you can always email me at help at the Thanks for listening.